What's up guys, welcome to Fast Draw, where we draw cars and play racing games, because that's what we like to do and hopefully you like it too. That's where you press the like button. Today we have a 1994 Nissan 300ZX. Now for you Nissan boys, this one's a Z32. This Fair Lady Z was one of the first production vehicles that was drawn up in CAD. Now CAD stands for Computer Aided Design, which all that really means is just a bunch of fancy computers were used in the design process. In 1990, the 300ZX reached 1 million sales in America, which made it the best-selling sports car of its time. This super sexy bento box came equipped with the 3-liter V6 twin-turbo engine that was pushing out 300 horsepower. This car came in weighing at a hefty 3,400 pounds. Now, the IROC Z from the last video came in about 3,300 pounds. Just to give you some perspective, that's a difference of about 16 PlayStation 4s. Unlike the Camaro from the last video, the 300ZX came with a 5-speed manual transmission, which allowed me to bang gears all over the Daytona road course. Driving this thing around the Daytona road course was actually pretty fun. That twin turbo V6 made it really quick around the track, and I felt like I had to be precise in my braking points and exits during the lap. During the time of this recording, we found several of these for sale ranging anywhere from 10,000 to 25,000. Now that's depending on year, mileage, and condition. Just a heads up guys, these are known to be a hassle to work on due to the limited amount of space in the engine bay. Everything is super cramped and you pretty much have to take off one part to get to another. As I come close to the finish line, the 300ZX ended up putting down a lap time of 213.2 that's more than three seconds faster than the Camaro from the last video. That's it for this video today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this 1994 Nissan 300ZX. If you have any tips or suggestions, drop them in the comments. For more content, check out my Instagram link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.